Hi, this video is going to show you how to make bar graphs with error bars in Google Spreadsheet. So if we look here at the spreadsheet, I have my data. When I initially recorded my data, it was organized like so. Um, but in order to make the bar graphs with error bars, I had to reorganize it. So what I did is I basically um, took my independent variable or my different levels of independent variable and I put them across. So each level of the independent variable has its own column. And then I put the mean right under it. And then I also added the margin of error just for my own records. So the first step is to highlight the data. So my independent variable and my mean. I go to insert, chart. Then I go up here to charts, column, Click on this icon, gives me a preview of my bar graph here. Um, now I'm going to go to customize. Now, as you know, you can give the chart a, a title. Um, you can label the horizontal axes. Do the same thing for the vertical axes. But what we're interested in here is the error bars. So um, right now, I can look at my first level of the independent variable, and I can switch it um, for, for each and add error bar. So right down here the error bar, instead of none, I'm going to click on constant. And the first error bar for catfish was uh, 2.1. And then I'm going to click on the next one. And constant again. The error bar was 8. Now I'm going to go to beta fish. And that was one. So now I have my bar graph with error bars. Um, it's a lot of space here. I can reduce that by going up to left vertical axes and then pick a, a maximum that's lower than what's currently there. So perhaps maybe 45 will get rid of some of that space. And yes, it does. It looks quite nice actually. Uh, so now I'm going to go to insert. The one thing that I don't particularly appreciate is that this x-axis is not labeled it's, instead it's in the legend uh, what I would suggest is to save this as an image and then open it in some kind of uh, photography editing software so that you can type in uh, what these bars represent so hopefully uh, you have a good idea of how to make bar graphs with error bars in Google spreadsheet thank you